It's time for the review of How Can I Know? Like, comment, and subscribe. Born and raised in the countryside of Japan, Hakuna Hina Sakuragi gets anxiously easy when she talks to new people, so much that she resembles a stiff scarecrow. To overcome this, Hina hopes to get involved in theater, inspired by the play she saw during her high school field trip. So Hina moves into the history manor in the bustling city of Tokyo to study at the Fujiyama High School, aspiring to join the school's renowned theater club. But to Hina's dismay, she learned that Fukuyama's high school theater club has been on a lengthy hiatus. Having already come to Tokyo and enrolled at the school, he knows that I lost for what to do next. Sensing her disappointment and eagerness to learn theater, Chiki Haganuno, the landlady of the Historic Manor, encouraged Hina to create a trope with the residents of the Historic Manor as its members. Hikari Note follows Hina as she begins her new life in Tokyo, attending Fuyama High School while learning the ropes of theater with the support of her friends along the way. The anime has about 12 episodes. It premiered April 7, 2017 to June 23, 2017. It is based on a four-panel manga series. It is comedy, slice of life. Each episode is 23 minutes per episode and is rated PG-13. What I really like about this anime is that it kind of like hits closer to home because I joined theater, not necessarily in high school, but I joined it like in the middle of my middle school uh, time. And I remember, you know, transitioning from chorus to theater, and I really enjoyed uh, middle school and high school theater because it came more of a family type unit, which I kind of understand. And then what the theme was trying to get across, because because the shy girl, you know, tries to talk to people, gets for anxious, and she becomes well, stiff as her fallback mechanism to, you know, try to not really talk to people and kind of like to as a shield mechanism. And I feel like the story is like straight and simple to the point as this main character has to sh struggle to overcome her shyness and wants to become her main goal to become a actress in theater. And I think overall the story just like hits home very straight and very simple because I can honestly relate to that. And when you're in theater you kind of open up yourself to, to betray people that you never thought you would betray before. And just watching these characters enjoy the simple engagement of having to do a scene and try and get it right, but this anime is full of like very cute moments overall that I like a lot. The art style goes between back and forth between a normal and then a chibi style, which makes it very cute, makes it almost be like the the transition to like a uh, comedic relief in some sense in, in transitions, but I think it makes everything like nice and smooth and beautiful in its own sense. And I feel like the intro and outro song does a really good job of conveying kind of those themes together in this anime. Overall, um, the characters, especially the main character in this anime, along with her friends who are trying to just help her come out of her show, really brings the show together and really ties it all to try to make sure that the main point of the main character of trying to grow as a person to get out of her show is really stands out of having her friends be the very backbone of trying to lift her spirit and try to help her push forward of her goal of trying to achieve her dream no matter what obstacles like, you know, stand in her way. And even though it's based off of a four panel manga series, it does a really good job of pacing the story really well and trying to keep the adaptation from manga to anime to the, the forefront. And they, they do a really good job of that. And I feel like with this series, you know, even though it doesn't have a second season, I think the series could continue on about a second season if they choose to bring it back. But I think one season does it just enough to where you get enough of the backstory of each of the characters to where you really don't need to have a second season. I feel like the enjoyment of the characters and the characteristics around the personality brings the show out to its most strong suit, especially where these girls are trying to help Hina overcome the most basic of simple human interactions and like try to break that shyness out of her by building her up her confidence, by pushing her to do things she's not usually comfortable doing. And I will, won't say much on that because I don't want to get too much away, but I feel like if you just watch it, I think you can relate to most of this character, especially the main one, as she tries to change herself to better herself to her better life and it's just to make more friends to adapt in society where she needs to be a little bit more outgoing and social, you know, and I feel like we can relate to that now more than ever, especially with this pandemic that's going on, especially before the pandemic, we had a lot of people, um, you know, um, introverts that, you know, kind of kept to themselves, but I think if you watch it with your friends or your family or whatever you can be or even watch it by yourself I think this is a good anime to like kind of like sit back and relax and like really like truly think down deep inside within you with each of the episodes like how they try to like push her with the best intentions to make sure that she's comfortable and like wants to do what she wants to achieve 
further her goals in life and make the best that she possibly be with. I think that's a really nice contrast of a strong friend unit of friendship development, especially like story development, where you can see the progression begin to build and build and rise and then fall to a nice calming resolution in the end, which I think suits this anime very well. Thanks for choosing this anime review. Give this big video a big thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Don't forget to comment down below in the comment section what anime you want to review next or any suggestions you may have. Hit the subscribe button for more comments and more videos in the future. See you soon. Bye!